Meow. How's it going, everyone? My name is Swingpoint, and welcome to a game called Will You Press the Button? This game is kind of flopping around all over YouTube right now, and I was going to play Undertale tonight, but instead we're going to play this because Game of Thrones comes out tomorrow, and I don't want to give you guys like a long Undertale episode and then a whole bunch of really long Game of Thrones stuff. I want to give you something a little bit shorter to watch in case you don't have a lot of time. So, let's get straight into it here. It's called WillYouPressTheButton.com. It's similar to Would You Rather, which is actually where I got a lot of requests from after that video. People are like, oh, dude, if you liked Would You Rather, you'd really like Will You Press the button. So, we're gonna give it a shot, see what types of questions we are given here. I'm pretty sure it gives you, like, a circumstance, but you have to do this in order to get the reward type of thing. So, the first one is, you'll be able to obtain any power you want for a full month. After a month, you will die horrifying deaths and be revived non-stop for 24 hours and remember every second of the pain for the rest of your life. Oh, uh, no. No, definitely not. Why would I ever do that? That just seems so ridiculous. That's just, no, I would not want to feel like I'm dying for the rest of my life. That sucks. Even if it's only for 24 hours, you'd remember the pain, right? So you'd basically feel like you're dying all the time. No, no. You gain infinite knowledge of the universe without suffering any mental or physical backlash. You can't share the knowledge with anyone. Ooh. 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 Would I want to know everything? And then not be able to share it? Oh, I guess I'll press the button. I mean, it'd be pretty cool to know a lot of things, but would I want to know everything? Like, only if I could choose to tap into it every once in a while. You know what I mean? Not if it's like, I'm always knowing everything all the time, like a freaking dragon or something like that, man. I don't know if I could handle that. Oh, God. Ugh. So these are hard questions, man. Ugh. Let's see what the next one is. And, like... I would really like to see, like we did in the Would You Rather video, which ones you guys come up with. Like, you get to do this, but you have to do this circumstance. And then you guys go ahead and respond to other people's comments and go ahead and be like, yeah, I'd press the button or no, I will not press the button. But try to... In the Would You Rather comments, people are like, would you rather kill 100 puppies or kill 100 kittens? Shut the fuck up. Do something that's not so stupid. <laughs> so let's continue here. Will you press the button? Your loved ones are happy for the rest of their lives, but you become everything the stereotypical straight, Christian, middle-aged, conservative, upper-class American white man hates. <laughs> Let me read that again. Your loved ones are happy for the rest of their lives. You become everything that the stereotypical straight, Christian, middle-aged, conservative, upper-class American white- I can press the button there. I don't really care. <laughs> And my friends can all be happy if some freaking old dude doesn't like me. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Um, you will become God, but you won't be able to do anything. That sounds boring. What's the whole point? Isn't that what? Isn't that like the whole point of a God is to like be able to do shit that humans can't do? No, I am not pressing the button. That just seems like responsibility that I can't do anything about. No, uh, you can go back in time whenever you want. If you get within 100 miles of your past self, you die. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. But, okay, so, I'm trying to think this too, like, way too hard. Like, if you go back in time once, who knows where you're ever going to be, you know what I mean? You could be anywhere at any time after you start doing that shit. Who knows? You know, you just die. But if you're dead and you're going back in time, are you actually... Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Max taught me something from Life is Strange. I ain't messing with that shit, man. Uh-uh. <laughs> no way, man. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You're a musical prodigy who performs all over the world with no need to practice. You're only allowed to eat plain white bread because everything else will kill you. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I eat lots of things. I like lots of foods. I just ate something like, what, Pringles? Those aren't white bread. I like Pringles. I like ice cream. I like lots of foods. And I don't even like white bread. I'm going to go to the next question now. You become the richest man in the world. You owe a huge debt. So, if you're the richest man in the world, this can't be like a debt of monetary standards. It's like you owe a debt to somebody. What's the debt, though? Oh, God, I don't like these types of questions, man. I'm always like, nah, I'm fine. I like Swing Point the way he is right now. My life's pretty good right now. I don't want to F it up with something like this. 
You become the richest man in the world, you owe a huge debt. See, like, the richest man in the world- You don't need to be the richest man in the world. You don't need to be even close to the richest man in the world. Because money does not bring happiness. You need to have some sort of fulfillment after that. Like, I'm not saying that money doesn't matter at all, because you do need to have money to make it so you can, like, fulfill the basic necessities of life, like shelter, food, water, things like that. But once you reach a comfortable point with money, if that's all you got going for yourself, Life's really gonna suck. Like, some of the most lonely people in the world are the people that have a ton of money because they don't have any sort of satisfaction anywhere else and people just want to use them. So I don't know if I would even... No, I don't even know if I'd want to be the richest man in the world just cuz. Just cuz. Not even... Forget the huge debt. I don't even know if I want to be the richest man in the world just cuz it would be bad. It might be really, really bad. You don't know. I don't know how I would do it. You get to live forever at 15. You never have a mature mindset, so you're always doing childish things or in a bad mood because school is lame. <laughs> oh, God, live forever, though. Oh, God, forever so good. Okay, how was I when I was 15? I was pretty dumb, wasn't I? I mean, I wasn't the stupidest 15-year-old, that, that's for sure, but... You never have a mature mindset. Oh, God. But I was a pretty mature 15-year-old. I know I was. So would I have to, like, go backwards? I don't know, man. Live forever is pretty cool, though. Oh, I live forever at 15, but you're always immature. Oh, God. But Okay, I decided that I would not press the button because I don't want to always be in a bad mood. You only, I mean, you only live once even if you live forever. But to always be in a bad mood about it, that would just be like, it'd be like a trap. You know what I mean? Like, you got to enjoy yourself, man. You got to enjoy yourself. Man, I am the less, I, I don't press any of these buttons, man. I'm going to press at least one button from here. I'm going to do it. You can have an infinite money in your bank account and you'll never play a GTA game. Oh, pfft, that button's being pressed. Pfft. I know I just said I, I wouldn't want to be like the richest man in the world, but like, I would take money over GTA. I mean, GTA is cool and all that shit, but it's not the coolest thing in all of the world. I would rather have that money to like go travel the world and shit like that. Do my own GTA type bullshit. <laughs> You don't need to play GTA that much. You'll win a lot of money! But you can't spend any of it on yourself, only other people. Sure, why not? Why not? I can do a lot of really cool things with that. I'd press that button. I mean, you could give things a chair. I mean, that that would bring a lot of value to you outside of like just having monetary stuff to be able to like help people out like that with that type of money. Oh god, yeah, that'd be that'd be so cool. You become Batman. All these are like money-based too. Come on, people. You become Batman. You'll never be able to see your friends and family again, ever. Ooh, so it's kind of as bad one. Ooh, oh, oh, my, my. Nah, I don't want to be Batman that bad. I mean, Batman's cool, but... To not be able to see anybody ever that I care about? Nah. Someone else can be Batman. I'll go live, like, outside of Gotham and not die. Uh, you could be the best-looking person in the world. You will never be the best sex he or she has ever had. You know, part of me thinks I'd press the button here because the world is a place where good looks can get you a lot. There's a lot of superficial shit in the world where looks can really benefit you. And you don't have to have sex with everybody to benefit off of your looks, you know what I mean? People can want to have sex with you just because you look really good and that can get you a lot of cool things, but you don't have to have sex with them. So I'll press the button, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you could be, you could be really ugly and then also never be the best sex that somebody ever had. So, I mean, why not just take the good looks, right? <laughs> um, you will have fun pressing the button, but it'll cause a nuclear apocalypse. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm not pressing that button. I'm not pressing that button. I like playing games like this where you just sit and it makes you think. Really, really, really hard about something. Sometimes you don't really gotta think about it, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You can live your life in the Pokemon world, any region, and come back to Earth at any time. But you become Brock and have to stick around to the Ash the whole time. <laughs> okay, you know, I think I can press that button. If I could like swap back and forth whenever I want, I could be Brock for a while. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. I get to watch this annoying kid Ash. I mean, he does some cool things, right? Unlimited bucks. You can't get any relationships with any girls. No. No. I don't need that many deer in my life. Bucks are boring. <laughs> Utopia. Science leaps forward. Everyone is comfortable without having to work hard. 
and outdated or inapplicable moral and legal restrictions cease to exist. But, oh god, what's but? No one can ever be religious or form long-term relationships anymore. And the world's government anthem is the Nickelback song. Why'd you gotta throw that in there? God dang it. No! You know, I don't think Nickelback is the worst thing in the world. I think, you know what I think? I think Nickelback is really, really good, but they're so overplayed that people hate them. Like, they make good music, but, like, radio stations kill them. I think that's what it is. Kind of like Daughtry. I think the same thing about Daughtry. Good music, but it's just, like, so much of it all the time in your face once it gets popular that people start to hate it. Maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. I think somebody has to think the same way as me about that. I won't press the button. Do I want to press the button? Long-term relationships are cool, though, man. And I mean, I don't want to take religion from somebody because some people really need it. Uh, I won't press the button. Uh, that was a tough one. That was really tough. I mean, I'm not a religious guy, but I mean, I don't want to be the person that says somebody else can't be. You know what I mean? You can manipulate people to do anything you want. You'll get massive migraines that last half an hour every time you do so. Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of like what Max was going through in Life is Strange, wasn't it? Oh, how massive is this massive migraine? I know I had migraines when I was like in fifth grade. I don't know why. I had the worst things ever, but then like they stopped after that. Oh god. I'm gonna say yes. Because you can save the world doing shit like that. Like there's a crazy guy who wants to go ahead and blow up the whole world. If I could make him not do that and then just get a headache, like a really not a headache, but like a massive migraine for a half hour, I'd say that's worth Worth, 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 worth. I would just not have to do it all the time. You know what I mean? Just like save it for those situations and be like, this is gonna hurt, guys. I'd say it's worth it. You will be able to make your dreams come true and fulfill any wish, but you can never use this for your own wishes and dreams. You'll be able to make dreams come true and fulfill any wish. So I'd basically be a genie. You know, I feel like that's the same one as like, you win a billion, jabillion, gabillion dollars, but you can't spend it on yourself. I would do that. Why not? I mean, it, uh, you're not losing anything by doing that, right? Like, right? You're only gaining if you all of a sudden get this power to go ahead and grant other people's wishes. I couldn't do anything to grant my own anyway with magical genie powers. May as well. Your favorite YouTube channel shut down. Oh, God, what is this? YouTube goes back to its original layout. Your favorite channel shut down. No. I don't even remember what YouTube's original layout was anymore. I know there used to be, like, you could customize it a lot more. That was one of the big things that, like, I wanted to get partnered because of that. I, so I could customize my own shit. That was really, like, something really that people really pushed for, but I don't know how old your original layout is, like, way old or like, I don't know. Layout isn't in the worst place in the world right now. I don't even know what my favorite YouTube channel is. I don't think it's mine. <laughs> you have the ability to see into the future for the rest of your life. Never know the feeling of being surprised ever again. I mean, that's kind of what would happen, right? Nah, I wouldn't press the button. I, w I feel like part of what life is is like, not knowing what you're getting yourself into. I'd be so bored if I knew everything, you know what I mean? And like, see the future all the time. I mean, you could do a lot of good things with like, preventing things and saving people and really benefiting yourself, but like, if you already know what's gonna happen anyway, what's the point of even trying to work towards those things? Nah. Nah. You get married to the most beautiful woman in the world, you got 100 children with her. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what that means? That means since she's so hot, you have sex with her all the time. I mean, that's cool, but oh my god, use some birth control, dude. <laughs> you play a game that allows you to become a god, you trigger the apocalypse. Nope, not doing that. Not killing people. Wait, actually, oh, I could have thought about this. If you trigger the apocalypse and you're a god, you could just go ahead and bring everybody back. Shit! Should have pressed that button. I suck. I'm bad. Uh-oh. That's why I shouldn't be god, because I don't make good decisions. <laughs> You can marry, you may marry any person or character in the real or fictional world and spend the rest of your life with them. All of your friends and family forget who you are permanently. So what does that mean though? Like, my old friends or I'm never able to get friends again? Ah, I can't press that button. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Because even though you can make more friends, they're, like, they're, you can marry, like there's a lot of marryable people in the world, man. You don't, there's not like, I don't think that there's like the one and there's only one that you'll ever be like your true soulmate. I think that you can marry multiple, not marry multiple people. Don't give me, no, that's not what I, that's not what I meant. No, God, shut up. There is more than one person in the world that you are capable of having a happy life with is what I meant. <laughs> a happy marriage. You can have sex with anyone in the world. Your, your hair will fall, wait, what? Your hair will fall around the body and will return to grow in a week. What? I don't even know what that means. Does that mean like 
as you're having sex with this person, you just have a ton of hair that falls all around to their body. That would ruin the moment, wouldn't it? You just like, here's all my hair all. Oh God, I'm not pressing. No, 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 no. That was a bad one. I don't, I don't really even understand what that meant. Okay, we'll do five more here. Five more. Will you press the button? You can have the woman of your dreams. You will slowly turn into a woman. <laughs> I don't want to be a girl. I don't want periods and have to do makeup and all these other things that girls have to do. I'm okay being a dude. I'm okay being a dude. Okay, four more. You'll live forever. No one will ever be able to live forever like you. That's tough. I guess it depends on, like, if I stay a certain age or if I, like, if my body starts getting frail. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I would take it, yeah. That's tough. That's a really tough one. That's a tough one. Man, now I feel like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, three more. <laughs> You'll become a god of your own universe, and you can do whatever you want and design it however you want. You have to burn in lava before you become this god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Um. Ow. Something about burning in lava sounds really ouchy. I don't want the ouchy. No, no. No, no. That's lots of ouchy. No, no. You can live in any universe you wanted. You... But you would have to eat a can of worms every year. <laughs> I don't even know what other universes are like. I don't want to eat a can of worms. This doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> this is the first guy. <laughs> okay, I am not eating a can of worms. What? What kind of worms, man? What kind of worms, okay? You get the lead role in a movie and you get paid two million dollars for it, but everyone hates it. No, no, not, no, not worth. Not worth, 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 not worth. Two more! Two more! I don't want to have all that money just to have everybody hate me. I couldn't do that. Nuclear war destroys most of civilization, but you become the leader of whatever's left. No. No, 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 no. I'm playing Fallout right now, trying to be a leader of whatever's left. I'm not that great at it, man. Uh-uh, no. Can't even do it in a video game. No. Last one. Last one, last one, last one. You have the ability to change your appearance whenever you please. You lose the ability to speak. Fuck no. Absolutely not. Uh-uh. I like talking. Talking's cool. La, 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 la. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you become the most influential speaker in the world, but everything you say sounds like Dr. Zeus. <laughs> this was Will You Press the Button. I wanted to play a short game, something that was kind of building off of Would You Rather, because a lot of you guys asked for it, and because Game of Thrones is coming out tomorrow, so I didn't want to give you guys a punch, a, a punch, a bunch of really long videos to watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see more things like this, like Would You Rather or Will You Press the Button or things like that, let me know in the comments down below. And like I said, if you have anything for this, like you get to do this, but you got to do this, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. And aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this, go ahead and hit that like button. Give the video some internet points. I want to eat all oh, your internet points. Yum, nom, 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 nom. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. That way you can see more videos like this as we release them. And I hope you're having an awesome day. And I'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Me!